Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball dime. And today is day 831 of my ketogenic journey and my 14th birthday. Okay, fine, 41, but who the hell's counting, right? I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you what we ate yesterday, and then I'll be right back with a chit-chat and a weigh in. Don't forget, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and ring that bell. And guys and dolls, I help everybody with their keto journey for free. So if you have questions, my email address is below. And all you got to do is ask. I'll tell you everything I know. Plus, I've got a website for free that we keep up and manage so that you can have a very simple to follow beginner's guide, a full foods list of everything I know that you can eat that's keto friendly, and uh, a playlist on the front of this channel called How To For Beginners. Check it all out and uh, let's roll, y'all. <laughs> Guys, so I've got a baconator, uh, just cheese and bacon and lettuce and mayonnaise, and then I've got a side salad which I put two of their ranch packets on, and I'm here with Hubby Hughes having lunch. <laughs> Yum yums. Guys, yeah, so I'm gonna show you the birthday gifts I got from Hubby. Um, one of which was simple, of course. I wanted a private dinner alone with some wings. Guys, yeah, so we're at Pizza Hut. We had a salad. We're getting Can't some dry. One. Yeah, he ate his already. And we're having some dry rub wings when they get here. I'll show them to you. So we have 18 lemon pepper dry rub wings here, bone in, and some ranch. I'm eating six, she's eating 12. Probably. <laughs> Second thing I asked for was some good, warm, hard bottomed slippers that weren't super light or super dark because we have light furry animals and dark furry animals and, and I would rather any fur that gets on them to just kind of blend in <laughs> but they're so soft it feels like I'm walking on pillows and my tootsies are warm me and hubby had one of these a piece there's some class keto fat bombs and we got our uh, hubby some of these to try out for um, protein he likes the taste of them they seem to be pretty good and um, as far as I can tell they are 17 uh, fat 17 grams of fat 10 grams of protein and 3 grams of total carbohydrates um, it seems to be pretty Claims cut and dry. It, it, it boosts your fat burning metabolism. Well, I don't know if it really does that. I think that's just because they got the 75, 20, and 5% on there. Um, but these were at Walmart. It was four of them for, what, about $10? So, I mean, it's worth trying to see if he can help him with his protein issues. So, calories and macros for yesterday, 2,320 calories, 27 grams of total carbohydrates, um, more like 20 probably 165 grams of fat 184 grams of protein so all in all it, it was a little over the top but nothing super bad Eat my i believe they call this grandma life <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. get in here I'll, I'll eat them all right ah. <laughs> I didn't put you up there. You put yourself up there. Oh, did I get you? Right, let me do it again. I love you. I love you. You're a jerk. Oh, I got you now. 7.30 in the morning. 7.37. And we're watching a zombie. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Can you say good morning? It's a good show, by the way. You always do that. Hey you guys, so I just got to the post office to check it and I had a surprise waiting for me from Jelly over at Fat to Keto who we're going to do the um, Renaissance Fair together Saturday. It says, happy birthday, can't wait for Saturday, it's going to be so much fun from Jelly, Fat to Keto, April. Well, so you can see her uh, channel name. It is a webcam. I had this on my Amazon wish list. Um, it's supposed to be good quality because, you know, guys, when I do lives, they're terrible. They really are. It was open, so I hope it's not going to hurt anything. It should be fine, though. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. <laughs> Check that out. Looks pretty awesome. Hopefully, it's got pretty good quality. I'm not real sure. I think it might clip onto stuff. Oh, no, it doesn't. I don't, I don't know how to use it yet, but we're going to figure that all out. And it apparently just plugs into the laptop. 
So, hopefully it's like a plug and play thing because I'm kind of dense when it comes to electronics. Um, let's see. This is webcam on it. It's 1080p high def webcam. So, awesome. Uh, we're going to use this definitely sometime this weekend. Um, hopefully to celebrate the 4,000 giveaway, the 4,000 subscribers. Um, it should be coming anytime now. But that is awesome. Thank you, Jelly. Yay. Hey guys, so we're headed to the post office to check it today. I just want you guys to know. Are you okay? I just want you guys to know that I am very grateful and appreciative for every last thing you do for me. From the simple views to the to the like button to the um, the comments and the support and the love and even the gifts and everything. I want you to know that I appreciate and adore these things, but my help is not based on these things. So I will help any and everybody no matter what, regardless of your station, regardless of anything, because this is that important to me. It's, it's very important that people get the help they need and they get it for free because not everybody can afford that kind of thing. So I just want you to know that I'm extremely grateful and appreciative of the things you do for me in every regard. So thank you so very much. And thank many of you for the birthday wishes that I've already received. And of course, thank you for the ones that will probably come in today. So I really, really do appreciate it. Now, I want to touch on something because I got uh, a comment from a lady who... Uh, who is new to keto, just started out not too long ago, but already lost 30 pounds. Now she, uh, when you first start out, and this is not typical, but when you first start out, the more weight you have to lose, the more water weight you're holding on to, the more the scale will fluctuate throughout the day. You will see some losses during the day. Typically though, when you first wake up, that's your best way in. You wake up, you run pee or poo or whatever you gotta do, then you jump on that scale wearing basically the same clothes you wore the last time or similar. Be naked if you want to, it's fine. But similar wear, similar clothes, similar weight, clothing. And uh, that'll be your best way in. Later in the evening, for most people, it's typical to go up two to three pounds. It's completely normal. If you only go up two to three pounds and you get a good night's sleep and haven't ate anything that would affect you, generally, your weight will go down a little bit the next day. Maybe even just a couple ounces, but it should go down just a little bit the next day, provided you haven't ate anything. So she was a little concerned that sometimes when she weighs in, I don't know why I stopped at that rubber track, but sometimes she weighs in, um, late at night and she's gained two to three pounds. That's okay. That's perfectly normal. Now, like I said, if you have a lot of water weight to flush off, you might just drop four or five pounds during the course of a day, but that's not typical or normal uh, in a daily basis for the average ketoer. Uh, once you've been doing it for a little while, you will fluctuate up two to three pounds in a day, and the next day you'll fluctuate down to where you're an ounce or two less than you were yesterday. And if you're really lucky, you'll hit a whoosh and you'll be two to three pounds down the next day. But once you've been keto for a while, that slows down with the whooshes and all that because you've already gotten rid of most of your water weight unless you've cheated and grabbed some water weight. So, yeah. But I just wanted to explain that. Uh, it, don't drive yourself crazy with that scale. If it depresses you to get on it very often, don't do it. Just stay the hell off of it. Me, it doesn't depress me because I understand it's just data. It's just things that help me understand what has affected my body. Now, yesterday for my birthday, well, today is my birthday, but yesterday for my birthday, me and hubby had an early celebration so we could go to dinner alone. And of course, he bought me the little slippers you saw, and I really, really love them. So we went to, uh, well, both I met him for lunch at Wendy's, and we went to dinner at Pizza Hut. Last time we went to Pizza Hut, we had uh, bone-in bone hot wings, which did affect me somewhat. And, of course, the carbs on those were crazy high. I didn't realize how high until I got home and put them in. And uh, my weight, I believe, fluctuated up the next day. Most likely it did. So, you know, people told me, well, the dry rub wings are more keto-friendly and, and less likely to make you go up. They only had, for I think I put in that I had 12 of them, which I may have had less of them than that. He, he did pretty good with his hot wings yesterday. So, I had roughly 12. I don't really know. Hold on, I can tell you. Okay. Right. They, they robbed us of two. Since yeah, they did 18, rob us of we two. we didn't have it 16. Right. I ate seven. Okay. 
You ate nine. So I ate nine wings, but I put in ten wings into my car bath to my, my fitness pal. Um, and they were the lemon pepper dry rub wings. And for, with the 12 that I put in, it only had 10 carbs in it. So that's not too bad. My calories and everything weren't too bad yesterday. But my weight went up. And I'm not sure if it was from the wings. Or when we got home, we tried that, that keto shake. I did tell hubby directly after using that or trying a few sips of that, that I got really tired feeling, like really sleepy. So it could have been that keto zone shake. Was that what that was called? Keto yeah. zone? So it could have been that. Not real sure. But there really wasn't nothing in there but milk. Cream milk, right? Yeah. That could have affected me. And milk does sometimes affect me. Like the keto friendly ice creams, if, if, I, if they're milk based, I still can't have them. So it could be the milk in that or it could have been the wings themselves not being keto friendly i'll just have to try those wings one day again and see if they help would you like to put your weigh in real fast i did not weigh in you did not weigh in i forgot you forgot but i weighed in yesterday it was 158.2 that was close to your lowest this that, that is your lowest this time right it's my lo lowest this time yes it right. was ties my lowest okay so i was i was 158.2 before my anniversary and okay. i'm back down to that yeah and I meant to weigh in this morning, but then when I got dressed, I'm like, damn, I forgot to weigh in. I'm not getting undressed. I got to go to work. Uh, you can't do that. You can't really do an accurate weigh in with still toe boots, jeans, and a jacket on. So. You know, I normally weigh in with just my... Uh, Boxers? No, with the blue shorts. Sleep shorts? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. He's, he's usually... He gets up before I wake up anyway. So, we're going to run in here and check this mailbox. He is down to his lowest thus far. Um, well, my lowest lowest is... Right. And this was last time you did keto, right? 155 or 156. And that was last time, right? You did keto. So it's been a, uh, about a year since he's done keto last. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything in here. We'll be right back. <coughs> All right, you guys. So before I um, show you what came in the mail today, I want to go ahead and do my weigh-in because I just realized I forgot to do it again. Um, yesterday, I weighed in at 176.4. Today, 178.4. So I am up two pounds. But I'm not disappointed or depressed by that because... Well, a couple things could have affected me yesterday. And and you didn't jump into the 80s. And I didn't jump into the 180s. He's got a great point with that one. I might tonight, or well today, um, I am going to go to my birthday dinner with my whole family, hubby included. And I will be showing you video of that. Um, so I might go up a little bit, but I don't think so because I'm keeping it keto all day. The only thing I'm having is there is a chicken quesadilla, which are huge, and a couple of margaritas. They might affect me some, but generally I have had them in the past. I think my son took me for Mother's Day or something like that. Maybe my birthday last year. And they didn't really affect my weigh-in because I made them OMADs, which at this point it looks like that's what I'm going to do again today because it's already 1 o'clock. We haven't ate. And uh, he's he's used to waiting until later in the day anyway, right? My appetite is funny. I can go to work. You know, I work 10-hour shifts, and even if I work 12-hour shifts, I do not get hungry until the moment I step in the house. <laughs> I can go to work and work half a day. I do not get hungry until I step into the house. He's like, okay, feed me now. <laughs> so my body knows for some reason, hey, we're home. Let's eat. So I'm going to show you the, the gifts that came in the mail today. or the, It's cool. Anyway, um, here we go. The first one is a beautiful card, very shiny and glimmery, very uh, glittery. That's what it is. And I really like that. That's beautiful. It says, happy birthday, keto cutie. I hope your day is filled with lots of love and laughter. I hope so too. Yay. Uh, thanks for all you do on your channel. Much love, Collins. Much by the way, I love your name. Much love to you. Sorry. <laughs> I love your name, by the way. I don't think I've ever met a lady with the name Colin or Collins. Or so, Mary. Well, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, neat name. It really is. And thank you for the card. It's beautiful. And then there was this one. We got to open it up and got a $20 uh, gift card in there. By the way, um, I'll tell you about that. Go ahead and do this one first. Beautiful card. Also glittery and ice creamy. <laughs> says, uh, Dear Joni, hope you have a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. You are a very kind and sweet person. And I look forward to watching your videos every day. Much love right back to you. And it's uh, from Brenda. Thank you so much, darling. I love it. Too much of a good thing is often a great thing. Enjoy your day. Unless it's cake. That's never a great thing. <laughs> but I love it. Beautiful, honey. And thank you so much. 
Now, it's from uh, one of my favorite ladies, Miss Betty. <coughs> this card has a lot to read on it, so I'm not going to read that all to you. I don't want to make the video super long. But as Miss Betty often does, she includes a 20. And I'll thank you so much, darling. Um, so, I'm just going to read it to you. It says, Happy bird Birthday, 41 is not old, and age is just a number. Sorry, this is late. It's not. It arrived perfectly on time. You look great. Love your videos. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you for all you do. So this is all over the place. Having shining moments. Am I wrong? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> I can honestly say I feel better at 56 than I did at 41. I understand. Believe me, I do. Uh, I don't hurt like I used to. Understand that too. How is your mom and dad doing? You haven't talked about them lately. Stubborn. Stubborn. They don't listen to me for Jack. Uh, and I try. I bitch. I raise hell. They don't care. They still go eat them french fries and all that other crap. We're doing there. keto. You go down there. They're eating french fries. Mm -hmm. Or ice cream sandwich. Or um, cookies. Or crackers. Why? Little Debbie's. Little Debbie's. Yeah, they like to too. We need to stop talking about this. We're going to trigger somebody. But anyway, it's from Miss Betty. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. So I also want to do a special thank you to Tia and Sarah. They know what they did. Thank you. Thank you so very much to all of you so much. Uh, Tia, I really appreciate it. It's really awesome. Um, and also I want to remind you guys, if you're having issues with uh, calorie restriction, because I know a lot of you for many, many years have restricted your calories and you have to figure a way to maintain and lose on keto, but you've restricted your calories so much that you mess with your metabolism a lot. So go check out Miss Melanie over at Princess Ninja and Keto because uh, she's doing a lot with that right now. She's trying to reverse uh, a calorie deficit to get her body where she can eat more and lose weight and feel great. So go check out Miss Princess Ninja and Keto. Well, it's just Princess Ninja and Keto. Anyway, guys and dolls, I've probably talked my booty off on this. And I will be, of course, showing you tomorrow's, uh, well, what we do tonight, tomorrow. So you'll be able to see everything. But my video tomorrow is most likely going to be late because me and Miss Jelly over at um, Fat to Keto are going to head to the Renaissance tomorrow. So you'll be seeing that the next day. But it's going to draw my video late tomorrow. But that's okay. It's Saturday. I'm sure everybody else will be uploading. Much love to you guys and dolls. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And, uh... If you'd like to support the channel or send cards or anything, my post office box is below. I've got a Patreon, PayPal, and an Amazon wish list. Much love to you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.